Welcome back. I'm Pastor Cat, and this is your 12 Days of Google Christmas. Just a quick background of what this new series is all about. Over the last year, that is 2019, we've collected the top 12 searches by Google with biblical topics, thus the 12 Google searches of Christmas. A quick note, we have eliminated things that are highly scientific, like what's the Big Bang, or things that are denominational specific, like what is the Catholic Church. We've eliminated those. Everything else is in, and this is your top 12. Here we 12. go. What is the gospel? This is a great one to start off with. It can be a fairly complicated question, so I've broken it down into six points. They'll be quick, I promise. Number one, God created us for his glory. That's step number one. We get that out of Isaiah chapter 43. It says this, Bring my sons from afar, my daughters from the end of the earth, everyone who was called by my name, whom I created for my glory. There you go, all the way back in the Old Testament. Step two, every human should thereby live for God's glory. Every human thereby should live for God's glory. We get that out of 1 Corinthians chapter 10. It says this, whether you eat or drink, whatever you do, do all for the glory of God. Number three is nevertheless we've all sinned and fallen short of God's glory. We get that from two passages, Romans chapter 3 uh, verse 23 and of course Romans chapter 1, 21 through 23. And they go like this. All have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. And the second of course is although they knew God, they didn't honor him as God or give thanks to him. And in exchange, the glory of the immortal God for images. Step number four, therefore we all deserve eternal punishment. That comes out of Romans chapter six. It says this, the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Step number five, Despite the first four steps, God still loves us enough to give us a way to eternal life through his son, Jesus Christ. We get that out of John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. The sixth and final step is eternal life is a free gift to anyone who puts their trust in Christ as Lord and Savior, who is, of course, the supreme treasure of our entire lives. My favorite couple verses to wrap that up come out of Acts and Romans. They go like this. Believe in the Lord Jesus with all your heart and you will be saved. If you confess your sin with your mouth, that Jesus is Lord and believe in him in your heart, that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Well, Merry Christmas. That was day 12. We're counting backwards. I'll see you at the same place tomorrow.